Give me an Iron Man match, baby. We know on Sunday, March 5th, Revolution Live on pay-per-view, the main event, the 60-minute Iron Man match for the AEW World Championship. It will be this man, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, challenging one of the most loathsome individuals I have ever come across, our AEW World Champion, MJF. This week, Taz? I'm, well, I'm just I'm trying to uh, embrace our great audience here in Phoenix instead of screaming over them. I'm sorry. I'm trying to let the viewing audience enjoy the show. It's time Taz can embrace some boys. Great reception for Brian Danielson. Well, let me say this. Here in Phoenix, he's got a lot of ties to this area. Yes, Taz, go ahead. A lot of people think that if that MGF is not ready to go 60 minutes with Danielson. I think Danielson thinks that. I'm one of those two. Okay, well, listen, Shivani, stop. Okay, you're aggravating. I think MGF is more than capable Boy, of Boy, is it great to be back in Phoenix, Arizona! It seems like you people might want me to win the AEW Championship at Revolution. Well, trust me, I'm gonna do everything in my power to beat MJF for that title. But first, I want to talk a little bit about what MJF said last week. MJF came out into this ring and said he hates Brian Danielson. So let me get this straight. He tries to break the arm of a friend of mine for over 20 years and he hates me. Let me get this straight. He put a bounty on my head, tried to injure me so I can't even make it to the pay-per-view, and he hates me. MJF hospitalized my mentor, William Regal. And he hates Thank God. God, what? That he's coming out? Yeah. I was tired of hearing what Danielson had to say. Oh, my God, Ted. What is, what, what is wrong with you? I'm allowed to have my opinion, am I not? I'm a world champion. Respect the champ, damn it. Cut it. See, Brian, you may have all these schmucks twisted, but I know who you really are, man. And I know who I really am. I'm the guy who got left stranded by anyone I've ever opened up to. I'm the guy who got thrown away like trash by anyone who's ever claimed they loved me. And then I met a girl. A girl who changed my outlook on every single person on this planet. My dream girl, a girl I fell in love with, she convinced me not everyone in this world is bad. So then I became the man who got down on one knee. And I told that girl I wanted to start a family with her. I wanted to make a home with her. I wanted to have children with her. And you know what she did, Brian Danielson? She left me. She left me, Brian. She left me because I'm unlovable, and now the only thing I have in this life that I can trust, the only thing I have in this world that makes 
me feel unconditional love is this Triple B. The AEW World Heavyweight Championship is the only thing stopping me from grabbing a fistful of pills and calling it a day. But not you, Brian, no. Everybody loves the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Everybody looks up to you. Everyone respects you. They throw their hands up in the air and they scream yes at the top of their lungs. And as if that wasn't enough, you have something I'll never have. You have a family. A beautiful, smart, adoring wife, too happy, healthy children, and you take all of it for granted. You wanna know why I hate you, Dragon? It's not just because these schmucks actually think you're better than me, cause Lord knows by March 5th, they'll know that ain't the truth. I hate you because you have had more concussions and more head trauma than anyone in the history of this business. You suffered concussion after concussion until you were on the floor, foam streaming down your face, having seizures. And you're still in my sport? Every time you step foot in that ring, you're saying wrestling is more important than your family and your children. Every time you step foot in that ring, you're spinning in my face because you are taking everything I would kill for, for granted. You, you are no different than your worthless drug addicted mentor, William Regal, who I gladly sent home to the hospital. Matter of fact, Brian, you're worse because you're addicted to the spotlight. Well, guess what? On March 5th at Revolution, you're gonna get all the spotlight you could possibly ever need in an Iron Man match because I'm gonna punish you, Dragon. I'm gonna punish you for trying to take away the one thing I have in this life. And I am going to punish you for everything you have taken for granted. So now, I'd like to take this chance to speak to your children watching at home. Oh hey, hey, don't you dare bring my children into this or I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Hi, Birdie. Hi, buddy. It's your Uncle Max here. I just wanted you to know that come March 5th at Revolution, I'm gonna make Dad Dad pay for all of his selfishness. I'm gonna grab Dad Dad's arm and I'm gonna rip it out of socket until he submits, and I'm gonna make sure Dad Dad can never play with you again. For one hour straight, I'm gonna make sure that Dada can never pick you up again. And then, Uncle Max is gonna take his fist and hit Dada in the head with it over and over again. And I'm gonna give Dada a present on March 5th. You kiddies wanna know what that gift is? Early onset CT. MJF, he had to know he was playing with fire. And Brian Danielson not waiting until March 5th. Yeah, well, yeah, he definitely knew things was going to explode because Danielson told him, don't say anything towards my kid. And now you 
saw his men out here to separate. And yeah, the security detail trying to pull champion and challenger apart. This, this is so personal, Tony. How could they possibly wait till March? Whoa, 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 whoa. They're not racing to watch this. I don't know if there's enough people in our security staff to hold these guys back. Let them go. Let them fight. They'll just they'll fight all the way to San Francisco. They don't give a damn. And MJF trying to break free. Now he's going after Danielson. Danielson, as he was being restrained, his arms were down, and Max landed a really clean shot. Taz. Well, that's what exactly happens in these type of situations. I've been in them with as men in the, in the ring trying to pull you apart from your opponent, and then your arms are trapped, and you get popped. There will be no one to keep them separated on March 5th at Revolution Live on pay-per-view. I'm going to say this about MJF. I've always said he was a coward, but he's willing to go into a fight right tonight. He said some really, really disrespectful bad things towards Danielson. No, I, I don't blame Danielson for wanting to rip his head off. Danielson's and he's still coming out. Danielson tries to break free, but MJF bails out. We got referees, we got coaches, we got security out. He's dropped down low. Oh, 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 shot. Danielson threw his entire body into that shot. And this melee is spilled to the outside. That was a shot, man. What a blasting blow. Well, we have to try to restore order. We've got more dynamite. Don't go 